Hello Rust developers and welcome to another Rust question and answer video. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today we are going to see the question of this user. Uh, basically he's trying to solve a problem related to parameters and we are going to show how to solve it. Uh, but before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you'll find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation is required and you'll find a link to the academy on the video description. Now let's start with the question of the user. So basically he's trying to run his node and as a parameter and inside his code he tries to, to evaluate the value of, of the parameter and depending on the value, he wants to run a program, a function, or another. But it's not working, and I'm gonna show why it's not working properly. Okay? In order to show that, I'm gonna use ROSDS, ROS Development Studio, provided by the Construct. So if you don't have an account yet, you can create one for free and start using the system for free, just following the link in the description of the video. So let's start creating a new project here. I'm going to call it Ross Run Param. I'm going to put the same for the description. And there it is. Let's open the project and wait a few seconds until the environment's ready. There it is. So let's start open, opening a shell and the ID. Let's put it here. Let's go to the Getkin workspace. So we have nothing here. I'm going to start creating a new package. So Getkin create package. I'm going to call it my package and it depends on Ross C++ because we are working with Ross and C++ here. And let's put standard messages. We may need something there. Some dependence. Okay, let's start compiling it just to have the header files ready. And now let's get go to the code. So let's start creating a node here inside the source folder. I'm gonna call my package node dot C++. Let's open it and let's start copying the user's code. Uh, it's not gonna work, of course, because we have to to put some files here, starting by ross.h and also IO stream because you're using C out here. Okay. Uh, let's fix the front of the code. There it is. Now it should compile. Uh, but first of all, we have to define these methods. Actually, I don't want to create new methods just to evaluate the code. So let's put just a C out here and we can see the decision of the script, of the algorithm, okay? So now let's change our CMake file. If you're working with C++, you have to add executable file and also target link libraries. Basically, we have here my package underscore node, which is exactly the same name I used for my file. So we don't have to modify it. Now let's try to compile. That's the first step. Let's check if everything's compiling. And then we try the code. Okay, we have some error there. Let's check what is the problem. Mm. Oh, of course, we have to put here using namespace std. Let's try again. And there it is. So let's run package. Okay, source devil setup bash file. And ros run my package. We have my package node. So we don't have any parameter. Okay, don't run anything. And now, uh, as far as I understood, the user is trying to check if the parameter value is equal to blue 
or if it's equal to green. But actually what he's doing here is to check if there is a parameter with the name blue and this function no handle get param this method of no handle object act, uh, the returns of this method is not the value of the parameter or but actually the the return what it returns is uh, for example we have defined it here a variable called param and its kind is standard string so if you pass a parameter with the kind string kind string type uh, you can have a uh, true here, okay? So let's try to do it. For example, we have blue equals to text. So we have a string and we have false here, okay? Uh, actually, we have to put an underscore. So there it is, we have blue, uh, but because we have checked that get params is equal to true but it, it it's only equals to true because we have string here and also a string for a blue value for example if you pass here an integer we have false so don't run anything okay we are here in the code so basically it's not gonna work because as far as I understood the user wants to see to check a value of a parameter and not the kind of if the kind of parameter is equal to something or not and etc so for example if we have now green it's the same okay but if you have a text here you have green in the output of the of the algorithm so basically i think uh, it would be better if instead of comparing parameters here instead of checking if there is a parameter and with a value with a string value I think it's much better and much easier to understand the algorithm if you use a single parameter to have both values okay so let's do the following instead of getting the parameter here I think we should do it right here also because you want to check the value you're getting so here you have this okay and also let's change the name of the parameter you expect so instead of expecting blue or green parameters with a string value you should check a parameter called let's call it param okay and here you can just check if the parameter value is equal to blue so that's the way you have to compare a string using c++, c++ this lab library of c++ okay and for a green value, the same, just changing, of course, this argument here, okay? So now we're expecting this parameter called param, and we are filling the, the, the variable param with its value, and then we are comparing if its value is blue or green or something else, okay? Let's try to do it, get make, oops. Okay, there's something wrong. Uh, of course, we have to put... There it is. We have it working. And now let's try to send... Just to run the node without uh, any value for param. So we have... Don't run anything. Now if you pass param equals to blue, you have blue. If the value is green you have green or something else like yellow you have to run anything okay so that's it uh, I think it's just a bit confusing because the way you have to handle parameters actually at this point this method you are filling the variable param with the value of the parameter you are really getting from ROS param server Okay, so that's because you don't have any value here, because you have to run this function just before you want to read the, the param value. Okay, and then later, if you want to compare its value, you can do it like this instead of expecting two different parameters to make a choose in your algorithm, you can just have a single parameter and compare its value. 
okay? Uh, I hope it can help you and that's all for today. In the description of the video you'll find a complete course about Rust Basics where you're gonna learn how to work with Rust Parameter Server and all the resources mentioned in the video. Did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video about Ross every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you!